Oh, am I starting? Hi everyone, Michelle here with Tony. And we are on our way to Costco. They have a bunch of new vegan items, but we're gonna show you what they look like. This cart is so big that we're both pushing Wanting it to right jump now. in it. I want to jump in it and be pushed around. <laughs> Cliff Bar is one of my favorite snacks, especially the white chocolate macadamia nut. Often it's hard to find white chocolate and this has it and it's vegan and I love it. It's usually on discount at a store like Sprouts, uh, it would be $1 each and that's if it were discounted and so you can get 24 for $20 here, it's less than a dollar each. So Annie's Homegrown makes my favorite fruit snacks that just so happen to be vegan. They're gelatin free, so gelatin's usually made with animal skin and bones. We don't need any of that nasty stuff in these. Plus, they're adorable, they're shaped like, shaped like bunnies, and this master pack comes with 42 of them. So if you have kids, if you're packing lunches, or you're just an adult who likes to hold on to their kid vibes, it's a great choice. I just saw these next to the Annie's Homegrown. These are all organic and they're really natural fruit strips, sort of like fruit leather. Like this one, the ingredients is just apple puree concentrate, grape puree concentrate. That's it, both organic. Um, so if you're looking for pure fruit, turn it into something really fun and yummy for the kiddos, this is a good choice. Costco has tons of options for nuts in bulk, which are always cheaper. Uh, for example, here, are sliced almonds, two pounds for $7.99. So I just spotted this prana like trail mix, which has nuts and some dried fruit and chocolate. And I recognize prana as a brand that makes chocolate that tends to be vegan. At least they have some vegan options. And this is all vegan. So great option for a little snack. And this is $9.99 for 24 ounces, which is a pretty good price. Okay, so we just saw this and I figured I'd flip it over and see if it's vegan and it is. Uh, this looks really fun. So we're gonna try it out in our taste test video. All right, so these are Mary's Gone Crackers. These are really popular among health food enthusiasts. They're filled with seeds and very natural ingredients. And they're great for if you're gonna do like a fancier vegan cheese and crackers plate, these are a really good options. I have never tried these and we haven't tried a lot of these products, but we are highlighting the awesome vegan options available and these say vegan right on them. They are four grams of protein, organic, gluten-free, they say vegan and they're non-GMO and they are a higher in protein content than regular rice crackers, so I'm really excited to try them. If anyone's seen the news about animal crackers lately, the animals have been liberated. They used to be pictured like behind bars at Barnum and Bailey Circus, and now they've been liberated. So anyway, moral of the story, animal crackers happen to be vegan. It's a way to eat animals without harming them. And they have this giant package here at Costco. I'm really excited about these refried beans de Rosaritas. They are a super accessible brand and they just changed their marketing. So they are organic and they say vegan on them. They used to say vegetarian and now they say vegan, which I think is so cool. And I live off of canned beans. I think that they're so easy to throw a meal together. I put them with burritos. I eat them in a burrito bowl and I do lots of other things, but highly recommend it. They're so yummy. I remember when chia seeds used to be so expensive and now you can get this three pound bag for just $6.99 at Costco. So if you're someone who dumps chia seeds in your morning breakfast cereal or your smoothie or your drinks, this is an unbeatable price. This is one of my favorite breakfast options. It says vegan right on it. And it reminds me of fall. It's pumpkin flax granola. Perfect, perfect, perfect for cold mornings. If you watch this channel, you know how much Tony and I love soup, especially noodle soup. So I'm really excited to see this here at Costco for only $7.99. They're rice ramen noodles, so they're gluten-free and it's by Lotus Foods, great brand. It says vegan right on there and there's 12 in here. So this is like a healthier alternative to Top Ramen if you ate that as a kid. I love Amy's brand and their soups are no exception. They're super accessible, even found here at Costco, which I love. And how, how much are they? $12.69 for this jumbo pack, which is really good because when you go to the grocery store, like another regular grocery store, it's like $3 per can. So great deal. 
Okay, this is a really good price for granola, and not only is it vegan, but it is clearly labeled vegan. Awesome. I love Bisquick. It's often not thought of as a vegan product, but it can easily be made vegan with flax egg and using non-dairy milk instead of the cow's milk. And here, it's such a good price. It's $5.49. Usually the smaller boxes are about $3 at a regular uh, conventional grocery store. So yes, I love making pancakes. I do waffles. I do biscuits, which I actually just found out that you can make biscuits with Bisquick, which makes sense because it's called Bisquick. I don't know how I like overlooked that but yeah biscuits and gravy and biscuits with my meals I love this quick if you're shopping here at Costco you can pick out huge bags of frozen fruit I always have frozen fruit in my freezer to make smoothies almost every morning I love strawberries and blueberries especially mix them with some bananas and almond milk and it's golden they also have giant bags of veggies and a stir fry blend, it's really good added to pasta sauce. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, and riced cauliflower. So Costco carries a brand called Don Lee Farms and they make a bunch of plant-based meat options. They have peas, plant-based burgers, this huge package of them. They also have like morning veggie pie patties and I just saw for the first time these pre-made like lunch bowls, which is pretty cool. Don Lee Farms has made a lot of headlines because they've been selling phenomenally at Costco. Uh, just record-breaking sales, which is really exciting. So hopefully their line will continue to expand here. They have Silk in their refrigerated section and they also have their own Kirkland brand that's non-refrigerated, which we'll also show you next. So I have not tried this before, but I'm definitely getting it because it looks amazing. And it is all vegan, vegetable yakisoba, Japanese stir-fried noodles. Yum. This has a panda, so you should probably buy it. But more than that, we love mini spring rolls. They're so yummy. And this huge box is only $8.99 for 45 spring rolls. We love the soy milk. It's only three cents an ounce and it's high in protein. We put it in everything, smoothies, oatmeal, in biscuit making when I'm making Bisquick, everything. So yeah, highly recommended, so good. They also have organic unsweetened almond milk, which is one of Michelle's favorites and uh, all of the other options are organic too. I always love when they find a way to make veggies cute and fun. And they have done that here at Costco with these love beets. Edamame is also known as soybeans, and they have these huge packages for just $4.99. And they're frozen, so they last a long time. Cooked, ready to eat, yum. If you're a fan of Dolma, they have these vegetarian stuffed grape leaves. They are all vegan, and they look fun, like a perfect party food. If you're hosting guests, you can just put these out. So Horosoy is a tofu brand. I've actually done a video there with Tony, so I'll link that if you're interested. But they have these tofu veggie burgers, which are quite good. You can also get tofu here. This is firm tofu from House Foods, and this pack is $5.69 for a four pack, so less than $2 a piece, so it's cheaper than the normal grocery store. Hey, This is my favorite section of the whole Costco because they have options for guacamole. I love guacamole on everything in my wraps and my burritos and my rice and my beans, my, like everything. Guacamole is the best food in the world and they have a lot of options here. You can pretty easily make this yourself, but if you are not feeling like a big cooking night, they have these oven roasted potatoes frozen, just $7.99 for this huge package and in it is just uh, potatoes and it's cooked in avocado oil, which I think is really cool. These are a great option for lunch. They are individually wrapped soups so you can pop in the microwave at work. One of my favorite things about Costco is they have exceptional prices on produce. Here they have huge avocados for just a dollar each and Tony and I are both getting some, but you can find tons of types of produce depending on the season and often at a very good price if you're willing to get a bunch of it. <laughs>
It is so cool to see Dave's Killer Bread here and for much cheaper than it is at even Walmart. Usually it's around $4.50, $4.99 per loaf and here it's only $7.99. I really love Osery Bakery. They make sort of an alternative to an English muffin, like very chewy. You can just pop it in the toaster and put some vegan earth balance on it or some jelly. So yummy. And they have this 12 count here at Costco for just $5.99, so a really good price. They have all sorts of dried fruit here, like these organic sun-dried figs. They have dried apricots. And what I'm eyeing are these goji berries that I'm gonna pick up. I love sprinkling these on my smoothie bowls. It's a superfood and uh, yeah, getting the super size bag. If you're looking for protein powder, they have a bunch of vegan options here for pretty epic prices. I personally don't partake in protein powder. I get my protein from my food, but it's here if you want it for smoothies. I remember when Schmitz was just a tiny little newborn vegan cruelty-free brand that made vegan deodorants and it's so crazy and awesome to see them now here at Costco. I saw their toothpaste over there and their deodorants right here. So cool, way to go Schmitz. One of the initial reasons why we were so inspired to go to Costco is they just launched a bunch of new menu items that are vegan, like this acai bowl, which is just $5 and packed with yumminess. It was okay, it was very sweet and tasted a little artificial, but it was okay. Um, and they also have other options, but they were not selling them at our local Costco, but be sure to check at yours in case they are. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that little vegan food tour of Costco. We are going to do another video, so stay tuned for that. We're gonna drop the link below. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Be sure to check out Tony's work at basedonabudget.com and Michelle at worldofvegan.com. And let us know what your favorite Costco finds are. Yes, let us know. Tony just got a membership, so she's Woo! itching to hear like the best deals, the best you can find. Let us know down in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.